tropical storm Shun Home continuing to linger just south of Tokyo, Japan today. Meteorologist Robert Spetta, as I mentioned in uh, some of my videos before this one, I just got my chroma key set up. Today is the first day I am using it. The first time I've been in front of the green screen in over a year. So if there are some bumps in the road here, please let me know. I'm continuing to work them out. All right, so let's talk about Shun Home anyways. Uh, located just south of Tokyo. Actually see an infrared imagery. That's the center of circulation right there. Bulk of the convection is towards the north and east. This is Japan, by the way, if you're in Okinawa, uh, right about there, Philippines down there, just giving you an idea of the geography. Uh, Chun Home still being sheared off towards the north and east. So yeah, the track is still there. Technically, it has winds of 55 knots, uh, severe tropical storm pressure up to 985 hectopascals, but she is a shell of her former self. Uh, still looking at some decent wind gusts, though. I shouldn't say it's all over with. So this past 24 hours, 62 knot wind gusts in Kochi. Not quite typhoon strength, but close nonetheless. Wakayama, last 72 hours. One location there, 470 millimeters of total rain. And oh, the storm is going to continue to linger off the coast here. This is actually spaghetti plots. I know a lot of you who follow me on uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. And if you don't, please do follow and subscribe. I always appreciate it. Um like these spaghetti plots the key thing is that each one of these lines by the way they take in account a different variable at the initialization of the model run so it's not really kind of an average or something like that you have to keep in mind that without recon we use satellite analysis and each variable is a little bit different high pressure towards the north might be a little bit weaker stronger stuff like that anyways this is telling me that this is just going to linger, pull down towards the south. The spread's all over the place, so it's moving into a weak steering environment. Or it's completely falling apart, which is the case here. It's going to move off towards the north and east, bring plenty of rainfall along the immediate Japanese coastline, and then fall apart south of the Izu Island. So big takeaway, additional 100 millimeters of uh, precipitation still possible here, all the way from the key peninsula extending back toward even along uh, parts of... Uh, uh, the Izu Peninsula and also over there towards Yakushka and even in Uchiba as well. You could be looking at still some pretty good additional amount of rainfall. All right, bigger picture. If you look down towards the south, we have Invest 92W. It's a low pressure area located just towards the west of the Philippines. I don't expect too much out of this, to be quite honest with you. Uh, decent rainmaker for parts of Vietnam, even pulling in some rainfall. I might even see a little bit of a spin up of a vort just towards the east of Luzon, but nothing really being named out here. Bagasa is always out in their own world. If this area does become a low pressure enough, they could name it. Sometimes they surprise me on what they name, to be quite honest with you, but it's their call. It's their, it's their plan. You know, it's what they do. Anyways, just the big thing out there in the South China Sea from the Philippines over towards Vietnam is an increase in rainfall over the coming days thanks to those back-to-back um, areas not tropical depressions at least that's the time don't expect tropical storms do not expect typhoons at all in the south china sea stay safe out there guys if you have any questions comments suggestions please let me know i am doing my best on updating this and uh let me know how this chroma key uh, worked out this green screen um still got a couple things i'm continuing to try to build on you might see on my cord kind of flopping around here I got an extension for that coming in the mail in just a few days, so that's going to go away. And, um, yeah, first time I've been in front of the green screen in over a year. I'm actually very happy I got this working. Stay safe out there, as always. Thanks for watching.